Hello everybody and welcome to the video. This is Dufflin today guys. We're in a video about Summoner's World. Today we're gonna have a look one of the first uh, teams I came up with for Giant Keep uh, hard. It's uh, <laughs> it's actually hard. It's very difficult to do it. Also, so far I feel like there is not much difference between this and GB12. The biggest difference was there were two differences which were the biggest one. Uh, this one costs one more energy each run, which is bad, and the other one is, um, it was a lot easier. It was a lot, a lot, a lot easier. So, <laughs> I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, obviously, you can get the new set from this, uh, from this dungeon, which is the intangible set, which is really good, actually. You should try to get those runes. But I don't know if it's worth it. I dropped one intangible rune so far. It was a blue one. I've been farming for a few hours now. Uh, I'm gonna show you the team and then I'm gonna show you the runes. It's not free to play whatsoever. I think you can do something like free to play. I, I will be testing it and probably gonna post it as well. Uh, but as of right now, this is the team I'm using and I'm gonna show you the rune in a second. Um, but yeah. Honestly, it's not a bad team. You get defense play. Lucian is there mostly for the waves. Doesn't really clean them up, but them two together should clean them up. You get defense play here. She does decent damage. He obviously he reduces the cooldown and he has defense break as well. And Laika is just a safe, uh, safe unit. So if they all die by the end, he just uh, he just solos the boss anyway. Um, pretty safe. I think I actually like this. I didn't fail yet with Savannah. Um, I did not fail yet, but it's not the fastest team. It's one minute, 15 seconds, something like that. Which is not too bad, but it's not obviously the best. Uh, so yeah, that's how it sh is meant to work. Uh, Savannah moves first. You can make Lucian move first, but yeah, otherwise Savannah moves first is fine. Uh, Lucian that moves, hopefully it does skill free on the waves. Uh, wave number one and then uh, wave number three. Uh, Mephisto then should move, I guess. Or maybe even Ikaru can move for the defense break. And Laika should be the slowest, uh, but in my case, I think he's even faster than Mephisto, which is fine to be honest with you. I don't mind. As long as he's safe, I don't mind taking a bit longer um, to clear it. Now, the Giant is a lot harder than GB12 because you can't use the dot team. Dots don't apply on the Giant. And you cannot use double units, so you can use you cannot use two units. Oh, Savannah just use skill free, but it's fine. Uh, you cannot use two of the same units. So if three carols for this uh, dungeon, it's gonna be a no go. You can't you, you can't even pick it. Um, and then uh, the dot team is not gonna work because the dots are not gonna apply onto the boss. So yeah. Uh, Mephisto does a lot of damage though, skill 1, so you can build him on rage. My one is on fatal for some reason, I think I just walked Lucian's runes and I gave it to him. Uh, it's on fatal right now, um, just attack with damage attack, with um, 85 crit rate is enough obviously. Um, as much attack as possible, as much crit damage as possible and, uh, and then obviously you can get the crit damage lines from the artifacts. Like I was super slow, I changed him a little bit. He's on vampire now to make it even easier, or even more reliable for him to actually solo the boss. Uh, the boss has stuns, so it's not a guaranteed solo for Laika because he can get stunned uh, by the boss and uh, he, he can get killed really. He, he can, it didn't happen yet, but <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Savannah help a lot though. If you guys not, if you if you don't have Savannah, it's gonna be tough. But I would say Galleon can work. Galleon AI is a bit terrible, but it probably works. Uh, Lauren can work, but Lauren also has multi-hit. And the problem with multi-hit now is that the boss counters AoE. So <laughs> if you have squishy units, it counters AoE, it's gonna kill them. I would suggest you guys use wind units. I'm gonna try other stuff. I'm gonna try to make it faster, but it's one minute and I'm kinda happy with it. Uh, it's not too bad, so I think I'm pretty happy with it. Also, if you have two Savannas, I use my Savannah in Siege, so she's not completely uh, on a damage build, but if you have two, or if you wanna use her just for this, 
or you don't mind having a, a bit slower for siege uh, you can be there just some crit damage and she will work even better because she does more damage uh, make sure she has good accuracy otherwise she's not gonna land the defense breaks uh, but yeah other than that it should work pretty fine so like a solo here I think he's on vampire is not violent anymore I think vampire is better because if he is killed too it's low HP is still gonna heal he's gonna heal even more I'm gonna show you the runes now I don't think this is the Lucian <laughs> definitely not I think my Lucian is over here uh, my, my runes are not the best but it still works pretty well so if you get to build them better you're gonna have faster runs probably uh, this is Lucian if you're using just for giants uh, 85 crit rate is gonna be enough if you're using, using him in arena then yeah you need uh, as close as possible to 100 but he's on attack crit damage attack uh, doesn't need to be fast if you can't make him too fast you just build everything else slower than him it should be fine and then crit damage lines are fine but also crit damage and skill free is pretty good crit damage line and skill free crit damage is really good for Lucian I would say rage is the better option uh, you can go fatal it's fine so Lucian is like that and then Savannah is like this Valiant will you don't need to build it on violent again if you're using that just for giant you can build their own rage with accuracy maybe rage focus you don't need will for this uh, again I'm using her for siege so she's like that 85 84 85 crit rate would be perfect for giant 84 should be okay and then she is she has some decent runes she's on speed crit rate and attack and then crit damage lines here damage dealt on water is also pretty good but crit damage overall and accuracy skill free is pretty good I would say around 60 accuracy is fine for the PvE uh, but obviously as higher you go the higher you go the better it is but she's like this for now so Lucian, Savannah and then we have one of the Icarus which is like this I use, I'm use. i using the one with the higher accuracy so we can actually get defense breaks it's just broken set it doesn't matter what you build him on you can build him on um, triple guard runes so you get the defense a lot easier and it works it just works just focus on accuracy I'm pretty sure oh, I have two skill to accuracy wrong one uh, <laughs> this is one of the oldest RT I had, uh, that I have uh, I should change it so I get more accuracy in skill one but it works just fine like that and then what else do we have we have Laika which is like that vampire nemesis you don't need nemesis you can go blade try to get a hundred crit rate so I could actually go blade you don't need other need nemesis it's like that, just attack, crit damage, and attack. It's not even uh, grinded. I should go off with the HP, but it's ancient, I'm not gonna grind it. And then uh, crit damage lines are the best one for like uh, accuracy, is not needed. Uh, recovery skill free is pretty good. I can change that for uh, crit damage lines and skill two perhaps, but it still works. And then uh, Mephisto is like this, A fatal, Blade, you don't need a hundred crit rate. I think I might change this for something else. Uh, but yeah, Fatal Blade Rage is probably better. It may be better. It may be better, but yeah, either way, Fatal Blade, uh, Rage Blade, something, whatever blade. As long as you get 85 crit rate, is fine. As much attack as possible, and then crit damage line lines are really good for him. Crit damage line uh, on crit damage skill one is really really good. This hits extremely hard. Uh, fatal again, rage, whatever you want, just focus on attack and so on. But yeah, guys, that is it. It's still going. It's around one minute to run. Oh, this one is gonna be higher, longer, because um, Press Savannah missed the defense break, so it's gonna go on for a while. Uh, I'll be testing more stuff. Hopefully, we get something more, something faster uh, and reliable, though. As long as it was around is reliable <laughs> as long as it is reliable i'm fine with it uh, if it is two minutes two minutes run though that's a bit too slow but i will test out other stuff guys thank you so much for watching the video hope you enjoyed it i'll see you in the next one bye bye everybody take care guys stay safe bye